<laughs> hey, how you doing, YouTube? Glad to see you're back. All you doodly poopers. Hope you guys are drawing and doodling all the time. Well, this one, obviously, uh, the sketch is already there. And uh, I didn't intend it that way, but I guess it works out. Make the video a little shorter. I intended to video the, the sketch, but somehow I, I don't know if it was the camera or me, but I don't have it. So what you gonna do? Well, you can see that Buck is up and running and working fine. And maybe it's a good thing I didn't do the sketch uh, with the pencil uh, because this video is already getting a little long. So uh, as you can tell, I've got it sped up quite a bit. And a little buck is just rocking and rolling there. And uh, this one is of a little church in a little town or village, I guess, in northern New Mexico. This is in... Uh, the name of the, the chapel is Nuestra Señora de Dolores. D-O-L-O-R-E-S, I think. It's in a village called Arroyo Hondo. And, uh, man, it's a cute little town it, or village. And uh, this church is just, it's a beauty. If you get a chance to get out there and see it. Just a lot of fun. This is one, I had photographed it years ago, but it's on a uh, computer that I made a mistake with. The computer was getting old, and uh, I went and bought a new computer and then didn't pay attention to the old one, you know, lazy or whatever. It all takes time, right? But I left the computer sitting around for a long time, and the battery went completely dead. Uh, so dead that I can't restart the computer. So we're going to try and uh, retrieve the hard drive from it this month. And uh, anyway, anyway, this photograph came from my wife and I took a trip around northern New Mexico. Just We just drove, spent the whole day driving, taking photographs, making notes. Had a wonderful time. We had a great time doing it. And... Uh, this was, we, all we were doing was going, finding another church, you know, an old church. There's lots of churches, but all these old Catholic missions. This one was a Catholic mission, I believe, at one time. It's no longer one, but anyway, this was the last one that we photographed on that, and it was the furthest away from our house. We had a very, very long day, got back well into the night, and... Uh, photographed I, I don't know close to a dozen churches so anyway that's where this photograph came from and like I say it's Nuestra Señora de Dolores beautiful cute little place cute little church Arroyo Hondo is uh, the village is I guess it's a little bit a uh, little north maybe northwest of Taos, New Mexico, and we got there by kind of a winding road. We didn't even really know where we were going. We were just kind of wandering around. Uh, we left Arroyo Seco, which is another fun little place if you get a chance to see Arroyo Seco. There's a beautiful church there that a lot of people paint, and uh, I go up there and I like to stay in the Abominable Snow Mansion is a hostel up there that I like to stay in, and uh, I'll, I'll get the room for uh, the uh, little cabin for a day or two uh, in the snow time, in the winter time, and go out and paint. Because it's just beautiful up there around Taos. Anyway, yeah. So... I don't know if I'm going to keep putting people in the paintings or not. This one, uh, I was just thinking the other day, you know, in the 70s I used to draw the, sit in a restaurant and draw people and stuff, and I had this one character my mother called Rofina. It was just a little old lady, and I would put Rofina in different situations, different places, you know, sitting by a, by a juniper or a redwood tree or something. And uh, 
So I was thinking about that. So anyway, that's why I put the people in there. Just thought it'd be something different. In fact, my mother still has one of those napkins with Rofina in the napkins that I that I drew in a restaurant that the chain, the restaurant chain is long since gone. I think it was Hobo Joe's or Denny's. I don't know. Used to do a lot of that sitting. That was pre-Starbucks days, you know. We didn't have Starbucks then. So... So anyway, this place is uh, a Royal Hondo, tiny little place. I think it's, uh, I found one website. Stop. Stop. Now, one, uh, one website said that there's 303, uh, 303 people living there. And another one said that there is uh, 622 people living there. So in either case, it's a pretty small little village, cute little place kind of nestled up in the mountains around 8,000 feet. And uh, oh, just very romantic kind of place to me. I just really like it up there. But <laughs> in looking for some history to, to give you guys a little bit of history uh, on the place, there's just not much. I, I found the chapel, uh, several of them, around the world. But I did not find this one. I'd really like to find a better source of information where the churches are concerned. And my time to do research is very limited. But, <laughs> a Royal Hondo apparently is only known... <laughs> only thing that's readily available is that it was the site of uh, a kind of a massacre or a killing in uh, 1847. That was during the time of the, um, uh, oh, what, what is it called? The Taos Revolt. And, well, there's the mat. Hey, don't hang up yet because I'm going to sign it. And then I took the mat off of it. And um, I had a look at it, and there were still a couple things I still wanted to do. So I go ahead and do a couple more things before I finish with this one. So anyway, yeah, the Taos Revolt was uh, apparently the Spanish and uh, who enlisted a lot of the Native American people to help with it um, were very upset that the United States had taken over northern New Mexico because back then it was still, you know, belonged to Mexico. So there was a revolt that happened and some of the people that got killed in that revolt happened to be working at Simon Turley's, I guess it is. It was a mill, Simon Turley's mill there in um, Arroyo Hondo when the uh, uh, Native Americans and, and uh, and Mexicans came in and and just uh, killed a bunch of them. Funny, the, the website wasn't even sure how many. It says six or eight people were killed. So, <laughs> but, but I thought, I thought, man, that's a kind of a curious thing to to advertise the town. You know what I mean? There's there's a lot of real estate places selling houses there. You know, on the web, but. Uh, but not much history of a Royal Honda. In any case, a Royal Honda is a really cool little place. It's very, very uh, nicely located. You know, it's not too far from uh, Red River where there's a lot of skiing and uh, Taos Ski Valley. It's not too far from that. You know, you could make it up there in an hour, I think. And uh, just Night. Obviously, it's close to Taos, New Mexico, which is a fun place to visit and see. A lot of nice, fun stuff to do. And um, But it, there's a lot of other stuff up there. There's the Millicent Rogers Museum is up there, uh, not too far from this little place. And, uh, you know, D.H. Lawrence, I don't know, you know, if you're younger, I don't know how many younger people would read D.H. Lawrence. He was an author in the 
40s and 50s, I think. And uh, his ranch is up there. He had a ranch there. And I, 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 these facts I read a long time ago, so I, I can't swear that they're true. But, um, and maybe someone will comment who knows a lot more about it than I do. But D.H. Lawrence traveled uh, <coughs> with his wife, and, and they lived at the ranch there. And I believe that the ranch, the, at least part of it, was gifted to them. But I think it was gifted to his wife, the D.H. Lawrence Ranch, from Millicent Rogers. I think that's what happened. And the curious thing is that D.H. Lawrence traveled with a, another lady a, along with his wife. And, uh, you know, I don't, I can't say for sure, but I think I read somewhere that there were impropriety or suspected impropriety there. But in any case, uh, apparently when he passed away, the, the wife wanted him buried right where he was, which I think is on that ranch, I'm not sure. But uh, the other lady wanted his body taken back to wherever he was from and to have a big you know, funeral or have him interred there. And the, his wife was so annoyed, didn't want him moved, that she had his ashes encased in concrete, mixed in concrete. And so he's not going anywhere. He's right there. Kind of a, a curious thing. If any of you guys know a little bit more about that, I'd love to hear it. So it's a neat area to visit if for nothing more than the history, but, but it's also... I mean, there's the, you're not too far from the Rio Grande and the John Dunn Bridge is right up in that area. And um, there's nice uh, campground, uh, oh, 30 minutes from there. There's uh, state, there's lakes up there, a couple of lakes that you can camp if you're an RV or, a, you know, if you get around traveling and camping. There's National Forest right there. This, this place sits right on the edge of a national forest, Arroyo Hondo. And uh, this is, the forest goes higher. This is around 8,000 feet. 8,000, 8,500, something like that. And uh, yeah, so there's the John Dunn Bridge, the Rio Grande. There's also a campground right at the confluence of, uh, the Red, of Red River, the Red River which, not to be confused with the town Red River, where they're skiing, but there's also a river called Red River, and it meets the Rio Grande up there in this area. And uh, it's got some nice hiking that you can hike down the canyon to the river. So anyway, guys, I'm rambling again. And uh, as usual, I just love doing these things. I had a great time doing this one. I just, you know, it's funny. I say that every time, and I know you guys probably get tired of it, but every time I watch one of these little drawings after I've done it, it just makes me smile. I just have a good time doing them. I hope you guys have some kind of uh, creative thing that you do that makes you smile. So listen, get out there and do something creative today. And as always, be safe. The photograph will appear right after the credits. You guys take care and I will see you on the next one. Take care now.